Now a developing story that we have been following. The mother of former NFL defensive back Sergio Brown has been found dead in West Suburban Maywood. And Sergio was last seen on Friday night and is still missing. Kate Chappell has the latest. A Maywood detective canvasses the neighborhood where 73-year-old Myrtle Brown lived and was last seen alive. I saw her the morning of and just driving by and we acknowledge each other and also I saw her son Sergio just maybe not too long thereafter just walking down the street as he normally does. He had on a hooded sweatshirt, cut off sweat at the sleeves and a backpack. Neighbors are in disbelief the woman they call kind, caring and well liked is now dead. Little did I know that'd be the last time I would see both of them. It's kind of shocking because you know um, before we bought our house everybody was telling us that this was the nicest part of Maywood so now this happens. Maywood police say Saturday family could not find or get in touch with Brown or her 35 year old son, former NFL player Sergio Brown, and reported them missing. Myrtle Brown was later discovered unresponsive in a creek behind their home. The medical examiner's office determined she'd been injured during an assault. Her death has been ruled a homicide. Whoever the culprit is, I hope they turn themselves in. You know, they, you know, uh, that's just that's that's a senseless uh, incident, senseless murder. Sergio Brown, who graduated from Proviso East and later the University of Notre Dame, is still missing. Brown was a safety on various NFL teams from 2010 to 2016. Most recently, the Buffalo Bills. I would always see him walk around and everything. He'll um, always say hi to me, wave at me, and stuff like that. But you know, seemed like a nice guy. It's a loss that uh, it affects a lot of lives in many, many ways. Maywood police say Sergio Brown is still missing and they are actively searching for him. If you have any information, you are encouraged to call police. There's also an anonymous tip line. In Maywood, Kate Chappell, NBC5 News.